what's going on YouTube and welcome back to all my class scholars out there. My name is Kieran Tross and today I want to talk to you about what I like to call a living series. So what we're going to do is talk about log analytics workspaces in this living series. The reason why I call it a living series is because I'm going to continue to add content to it um, as I continue to learn more and improve and grow in my Azure journey. Uh, if I find something that's beneficial to me, I think it's beneficial to you as well. So in this series, what I want to do is talk about log analytics workspaces. When I first heard about Log Analytics Workspaces, it was a concept that was kind of hard for me to grasp at first. And then after continue reading and actually using Log Analytics Workspaces, I get to understand it a little bit more. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to create this series for you all. So in part one, as always, we have to find what we're learning. What is a Log Analytics Workspace and how do we go about creating it? Then once we finish going through that and you understand that concept, part two is about sending data to your Log Analytics Workspaces. So there's different ways of sending data to your log analytics workspaces. You can use, do it manually, or you could do Azure policies. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how you can go about doing that. Then you can also do things like infrastructure as code. In part three, we're going to continue with how we can send data to log analytics workspaces. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with data collection rules, with capturing information from your Azure virtual machines, or even your machines that are on-prem. Part four, I'm going to go into uh, how to manage access to your log analytics workspace. We're going to go into RBAC, and I'm also going to talk to you about the different access modes with Log Analytics Workspace and how to choose what's right for you. In part five, I'm going to talk about uh, data retention and saving cost. How do you go about doing data retention uh, at a table level so that this way you can now satisfy the different needs for different uh, people within your organization? So there's a lot to cover here, and what I want to do is jump in and get started. So let's go over to the PC, and let's roll our sleeves up, and let's get to work. Okay, so what is a log analytic workspace? A log analytics workspace is a unique environment for log data from Azure Monitor and other Azure services, such as Microsoft Sentinel and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Each workspace has its own data repository and configuration, but might combine data from multiple services. So what does that mean? So let's look at this visual. We have data source one, data source two, data source three. So that can be a key vault. That could be a Azure virtual machine. That can also be anything from a storage account, right? So you have a bunch of different data sources in Azure that you can send to a log analytics workspace. That could even be a public IP address. So then you have tables. In log analytics workspaces, you have tables and data sources are assigned to a table, right? So if you have a key vault that, let's say data source one, it can go to that first table and then that will be the data associated with that key vault resource. So now let's talk a little bit about what you can do once you have your information in your table. Now you can do stuff in certain things like log queries. So you could query your tables to get and pull certain information which now you can see, you can send to, you know, Azure Insights, you can do dashboards, you wanna do some report in and you can just show some visualization. So you can you send it out to the team and show it with your team. Uh, you could do workbooks. Um, you could also um, do uh, uh, alerting on it as well. And then you also have other services as well that you can use with uh, your Log Analytics workspace, such as Defender and Sentinel. So what I want to do now is actually show you how to create a log analytics workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, log analytics workspace, and you see I have some log analytics workspaces here. These ones were uh, set up um, by some program, and you can kind of tell by the naming convention, default workspace. When it comes up like this, um, I may have been using some other um, services that needed a, a log analytics workspace associated with it, and then that's the reason why you have it set up here. So what we're going to do is create our own. So I'm going to click on create. And in this workspace, it's um, in the setup, I should say, what it's gonna do is we're gonna need to force it to a resource group. So we just do RG East and I'll call it Scholars uh, Log, uh, so Scholars Workspace, which is fine. And then you can apply some tags to it, but we, we don't really need to do that. And then what I'll do is do a review and create. That's passed. And I'll, I'll come back to the video once this finishes. 
All right, so our workspace has been created and is successful. You see Scala's workspace right here. Um, so we're all done with that, and you have a lot of uh, different uh, resources on the side here um, that I could get into a little bit later in another video. Um, so this video, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. This is basically the introduction video. Uh, this is part one. In part two, I'm going to talk to you about how to send data to your log analytics workspace. So thank you for watching. Uh, please continue to watch the video. I hope this information was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, you already know what the goal is uh, to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.